finding averages from a group frequency table is pretty similar to finding averages from a normal frequency table. The mode is easy. You find the most common frequency, which is 9, but the most common time, or the most common class, is 20 to 40. Most common frequency, but use the class. The median, we need to do n plus 1 divided by 2. So we need to add up all the frequencies. 11, 14, 15, 23. 23 plus 1 divided by 2 is 12. That's not the median. That's the, that's the person, the time we're looking for. The 12th person, their time. Now, which row would the 12th person be in? Well, they're the first two people. 2 plus 9 is 11. So these two rows have the first 11 people in it. 11 plus 3 is 14. So these three rows have the first 14 people in it. 15, 23. Little running total. The 12th person is clearly in this row. So the median class is 40 to 50. The mean from a group frequency table is worth about four marks and requires a lot of working out. To find the mean, we need to know the total time for everybody, whatever they were recording. We need. Now, because we've got grouped data, we, it will only be an estimate. And so what number, what time should we use to estimate between 10 and 20? We use the midpoints, the middle times. So we need an extra column with midpoints. Halfway between 0 and 20 is 10. You can add them up and divide by 2 if you're not sure. Halfway between 20 and 40 is 30. 40 and 50 is 45. 50 and 70 is 60. 70 and 100 is 85. So these are our estimates to the times. Then we need to find the totals, our estimated totals. So now we can ignore these. This is finished with for the mean. And we multiply here. We reckon that Two people took 10 seconds or minutes, nine people took 30, 345, 160, and 885. So we multiply across 20, 270, 135, 60, 8864, 680. To find the mean, we need to find the total total divided by how many there are. So we need to add up all our totals. 20 plus 270 plus 135 plus 60 plus 680. 1165. So we're estimating that the total total time for everybody was 1165. We don't divide by five. It's not how many rows there are, it's how many pieces of data there are. And we already worked out that was 23. So the mean, the estimated mean, is 1,165 divided by 23. It would probably be a decimal, 50.7 to one decimal place.